Yo, I don't know who I'm talking to anymore. I don't know if I'm talking to casual boxing fans or diehard boxing fans. But I've never seen a group of boxing fans critique a highly skilled, high IQ boxer like Shakur Stevenson. And listen, don't get me wrong. I have no problem with diehard boxing fans and casual boxing fans thinking that Shakur is boring because yes the fight before Artem where they he hardly threw any punches and the other guy hardly threw any punches yes that was a boring fight it was boring for both casual and diehard fans but there are diehard boxing fans who appreciate what Shakur did in that fight where he threw less punches. And that's fine, too, because he still came up with a victory. Fast forward to an opponent who's never been stopped before, who gave a competitive fight to Frank Martin. And if it wasn't for the knockdown, was probably going to be a draw, but somehow he left with a unanimous decision. But that's another topic. He fights someone like Artem, and he dominates all 12 rounds, was breaking him down towards the end of the fight, towards the last few rounds. This guy was in survival mode. And Shakur is to blame for not getting a stoppage. Guys, in the sport of boxing, boxers will face a boxer that's, that's let's say, sea level. But he's probably durable. Or if he's not durable, he probably knows how to survive. Or if he doesn't know how to survive. He knows how to fight in a way where it looks competitive, but it's not really competitive. There's all kind of factors in the sport of boxing and fighting different opponents. That's why I get upset when stupid idiot boxing fans try to say, oh, Sugar Ray Robinson or Archie Moore, they have all these wins, but, uh, uh, you know, uh, but they fought a, a, a Sam Lankford. They fought. They have all these wins, but they fought a lot of bums, and this is that. Um. First of all, you're wrong. Second of all, when you're constantly fighting and being active and constantly fighting, you're gonna fight and meet so many different styles, which is why I said if you look at other past greats' uh, record you will see that they have obscure losses in their record against someone you've never heard of. Why? Because they're constantly active and constantly fighting. And let me tell you, if Shakur Stevenson fought someone like Artem all the time, or if Tiafimo Lopez fought someone like Claggett all the time, who, who these guys aren't nobodies, but they're tough fighters they're gonna always have a tough fight right not not every fight is gonna be just an easy touch-up because that's what it's supposed to be it's not see the narrative is and most of us said this why didn't Devin Haney fight his fight why did Devin Haney choose to go and try and knock out Ryan Garcia we all said this fans were upset that Devin Haney didn't fight his fight the way he fights to box and move everyone is upset about that right a lot of boxing fans were upset about that the flip side to that though is you got a guy like Shakur who is not making those mistakes like Devin Haney, who was fighting his fight. He said in an interview against the guy where he threw he threw less punches, 
Why should I go toe-to-toe against a guy who could punch that hard? I'm going to fight smart. See, you boxing fans allow only certain fighters to fight smart, right? Devin Haney should have fought smart. He should have boxed. If Devin Haney would have boxed and made a boring fight with Ryan Garcia, you same boxing fans would be complaining about that. But since, you know, a lot of you guys want to pretend like you're experts, how come he didn't fight his fight? How come he didn't, he didn't, um, you know, move and, and do lateral movement and box, box off the back foot? What if he couldn't? What if he couldn't? Shakur Stevenson is dominating his opponents, dominating them. And you boxing fans are saying, oh, how come he's supposed to get a knockout? He's supposed to take this guy out of here. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Was Floyd Mayweather supposed to take out Carlos Boldemir? Was Floyd Mayweather supposed to take out um, Berto? Was Floyd Mayweather supposed to take out Shane Mosley? Was Berto, sup- I mean, was Floyd supposed to take out Manny Pacquiao? Was he supposed to take out Robert Guerrero? Was Floyd supposed to take out um, Canelo? Was Floyd supposed to take out Cotto? Was Floyd supposed to take out fat, out of shape Marquez? How come it's okay for certain boxers to give you guys 12-round fights and you guys call him an ATG? Floyd Mayweather is a guy who don't, he wins most of his fights, guys, seven to five. Mr. Best Defense in the World, Mr. Perfect and Accurate, Mr. The ATG, the money team. Most of the fights he win are seven to five. Guess what? That's a competitive fight. And here we have someone Fighting almost perfect fights and dominating his opponents. And yeah, he's fighting a certain level of competition, right? His opposition isn't A level or maybe you could arguably say they're not even B level. But guess what? This is his third fight at 135. And he's dominating. One of them... He stopped out of three fights. Just because Tank Davis is stopping his level of opposition, we know how what, what that is. Just because Tank Davis is stopping his opponents doesn't mean Shakur got to do it. You guys on the, in this boxing world are the main guys who say, quote unquote, Styles make fights. Styles make fights. One of the reasons why diehard boxing fans like myself want to see Tank Davis and Shakur Stevenson fight. Why? Because it's a style clash. One guy is a knockout artist and the other guy is more of a boxer type. And you could put Tank Davis in the boxer puncher category. But let's just say he's the guy who knocks guys out and Shakur isn't. That's why most diehard fans want to see that fight. So many biased people out there in this whole boxing world that it's a joke. Listen, I get it. Like I said, I'm down the middle. Shakur Stevenson IQ is is through the roof. The guy is one of the best skilled boxers that's active today and on the flip side to that yes he can be boring but it is not his job to fight a certain way and possibly lose to please you boxing fans at the end of the day the boxer still has to win which is why I go back to Haney he tried to please the fans By fighting a way that he doesn't fight. And he lost. 
I don't care. I'm not talking about the PED allegations and I'm not talking about the, the missing weight on the scale. Forget all that clown nonsense. I'm just speaking on the fight itself. Itself, all right. I know that Ryan Garcia is a scumbag. I know he was he tested positive. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about Devin Haney and his boxing skills. It, it and and it's not a guarantee that he would have won if he would have stayed and boxed off the back foot. It's not a guarantee. But if he would have fought that way, it probably would have the outcome probably would have been different. Okay. But Shakur Stevenson is not giving you a probably. He's not giving you a what if. He is fighting his fight the way he knows how to win. Just like Floyd Mayweather used to do. The guy who told you guys he's not there to please the fans. He has to do what he got to do to win. And you boxing fans out there who claim he's ATG accepted it. And now we got a guy who is fighting his fight. And you guys dislike him. He's boring. He's not pay-per-view. He can never be a pay-per-view star. The MOBC, we don't care about whether you're a pay-per-view star or not. We don't care if you got star quality. We don't care how much money Shakur Stevenson could have made. I leave that for you boxing fans who pocket watch. I don't pocket watch. I watch boxing. Excuse me. We watch boxing. Shakur Stevenson is one of the best and highly skilled fighters today. Period. Point blank. There's no argument there. And that's why most fans want to see him and Tank Davis fight or even him and Lomachenko fight. He could fight Sapita. There's so many lightweights out there that he could fight. So, and we, I like to see it. Again, I'm not one of those boxing fans like you clowns out there who discredit a guy for taking an L. I want to see Loma and Tank. And Shakur and Loma and Tank and, and, and Loma. I want to see all these guys mix it up. And Zapata and, and whoever. I want to see these guys mix it up. That's how you show who's the best and who's proven who's the best. It's not, it's not, oh, you fight this guy one time and you don't need to fight these other guys. No, that's not how it works. You go in there and you prove it and you fight everybody. Most people that you can. You just don't go in there and, and not fight anybody. If Lomachenko and T if Tank Davis fight each other and whoever wins, I hope that they fight Shakur. Don't let it end there. These guys, they're, they're not for, stop calling these guys the four kings, the modern day kings. Stop calling Devin Haney, Shakur, Loma, Tio, and Tank, and all these guys four kings. They're not no four kings. They're not, and they and they will never be like Tommy Hearns, Duran, Hagler, and Hearns. They, they won't ever be like that. Stop calling these guys four. They're not that. But what we have today is some good, skilled, active fighters that need to fight, and I hope that they fight. Shakur Stevenson is doing exactly what he needs to do to win the fight. And that's all that matters. That's all that matters. If people want to walk out of the arena, if people want to turn off their TV because they feel like he's boring, then you do that. Here at the MOBC, we're diehard boxing fans and we're going to watch it to the bell rings. That's how it goes. That's what a real boxing fan does. That's what a, what, a, what a true boxing fan does. We watch the whole thing. If you can't appreciate good boxing skills, then don't watch it. Go watch MMA or something. 